Happy Tuesday, y'all, and he hello and welcome to this exciting episode of the Daily Video Announcements. Today is October 11th. I'm Charlie. And hi, I'm Maddie. Now it's time to stay and place our hand over our heart and honor this awesome country as we say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Remember, check your school emails and share this link with your parents right here. Let's check this side out. Go to Pledge Star for me. Oh look, oh my, look here. It's so easy to register for the Glowathon event. Once you are on the site, you read the directions and choose the link that fits your goal. Select not registered for this event if you need to register, or select already registered if you need to add more fundraising funds to your next personal fundraising goal. It's as simple as that. Now show your parents or guardians how to access it. When you're in the website, you can check off the grade level leaderboard too. Looks like 7th graders are rocking and rolling. They're outperforming the 8th graders by almost $2,000. Go 7th graders! Our assistant principals are definitely going to be duct taped to the wall. That's going to be so funny to see 7th grade principal Mr. Cole and 8th grade pr principal Mr. Meyer taped to a wall. Hey look here! If you ho hover over the circle, it shows you the exact amount raised per grade. Oh, that's cool. Oh, if you keep scrolling down, it shows the prizes in each personal goal level you can achieve. Yep, there's a glow bracelet for $25. If you earn $50, you get both the glow bracelet and the glow glasses. For $100, you get all three items, adding a glow wand. Yes, and if you get donations in the $200 range, you get all lower prizes and gain a chance to win the $100 Amazon, $100 Amazon gift card. And if you raise $250, you get all the incentives below in a mystery prize. Field day! Recess games! Field day! Recess games! Game on, Mr. Cole's 7th graders and Mr. Maurer's 8th graders. Hey, we have started a survey on the SJHS News Crew Communications Forum, asking what recess equipment and activities we want for, to reach when we reach the $25,000 challenge. Go to the Google Classroom. OZUJS35 and find the recess survey added to your recess equipment and activity ideas. Also, on the classroom communications forum, we added a place where we can go to find the classroom clubs and activity codes. Please note it is a work in progress and please comment what code you need and we will try to add to the list. Another way you can find the code is to go to the SJH News Crew YouTube channel and fast forward to the codes you need on the video episodes. Thanks and we are here to help you. Recess games! Field day! Recess games! Field day! Next, did you know that this week is a National School Lunch Week? Make sure to thank our amazing lunch crew and let them know how much we love and appreciate them. Hello again everyone and happy School Lunchroom Appreciation Week. Here I, I'm here with Mrs. Fry. Hi Mrs. Fry. Hello. And on behalf of Sigmore Junior High, we just wanted to thank you for all the hard work you put into every day. Thank you so much. And You're I just welcome. have one question. What is your favorite thing about working here? Um, my favorite thing is the students. I love um, seeing you guys every day. And we like making healthy um, food for you guys and the staff. Yeah. So it's a nice job. Yeah. <laughs> well, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Fry, and all of our lunch crew for serving us lunch every school day and all the extra behind-the-scenes stuff you do. Yes, we really appreciate all you do for us mm -hmm. and our school. Next, we have National, National day. day! Today is National Sausage Pizza Day. Really? Wow. Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of it. Well, we can agree to disagree. Now to Mr. Harris. All right, good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. It gives me great pleasure to present this week's Students of the Week. So they'll come over as I call your name. Our first student of the week is Annabelle Daff. Come on over, Annabelle. And again, Annabelle was uh, nominated as a Student of the Week because she is being safe, she's being responsible, she is a problem solver, and she is respectful. So there's your certificate. 
And there's your Chick-fil-A, because that's the most important thing. There you go. Thank you, Annabelle. Our next student of the week is Oliver Lytle. And Oliver was dominated by Mr. Hammer. And congratulations, Oliver. There's your certificate. And there's your Chick-fil-A. Thank you. Our third student of the week is John Bottleson. And John was nominated by Mrs. George. All right. And so, John, here is your certificate. And there's your Chick-fil-A. Got to get your rub on there. And our last one, uh, nominated by Mr. Foley, come on over, is Lizzie Kazanowski. All right. And she's nominated again for being safe, for being responsible, for being a problem solver, and being respectful. So, Lizzie, there is your certificate. And there is your Chick-fil-A. All those guys, their pictures are going to go up, and they're going to assign the banner down in the main office. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Thank you, Mr. Harris. A quick reminder to check out the survey of the week and top 10 voting on our communications Google classroom. Yeah, please do. The results will be shared next Wednesday. And the question is vanilla or chocolate? Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Genesis C and an Isaac K. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, Ski Club. Remember, Ski Club meeting is going to be Thursday, October 20th during Flex in the Media Center. If you have questions about sign up, please see Ms. Meyer or Mrs. Swenson. Partners Club, you're going to have your first meeting on October 19th after school until 4 o'clock in the cafeteria. Remember, join the Google Classroom with the code VNP2AOR. That's right there. All right, if you have questions, ask Mrs. Ennis or Mrs. Serblis. We the People, your meeting is going to be in room 200. Okay, that's Mr. Hammer's room on Tuesday, October 25th at 7.15 a.m. All right, so if you enjoy debating constitutional issues, this is the club for you. If you have questions, please see Mr. Hammer or Mr. Grudemuth in room 200. Remember, take those library books back and renew those library book backs, and you will get a first-class ticket. So if you take the library books back to the media center, you get a first-class ticket. So get that stuff done, even if they're overdue. Okay. All right, and last but not least, we've had a lot of spirit stuff this week. We have our uh, spirit event this week. Join us, okay, tomorrow at 6 and 7.30 for the Junior High Football and Cheer Programs. This is the last game of the year for both of those programs, and they're going to be at the new high school stadium. So come on up to the high school stadium, 6 o'clock for the 7th grade game, 7.30 for the 8th grade game, and see our football teams and cheerleaders in action. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Wednesday, October 12th is the FC Cincinnati Wear Blue or Orange Day, and Thursday, October 13th is Wear Pink to support breast cancer awareness. Everyone wear pink on Thursday. And finish up and to finish up the week, of course, on Friday, October 14th, everyone wear green or gold to show aviator spirit. Now for the joke of the day. Where did Captain Hook buy his hook? <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> At the second hand store. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go Ace!